Hey, it's Kim and Claire from Made by Mommy. And we're here today because we had the opportunity to show you this really cool invention with its inventor, Nayor, who brought this all the way from Canada to us. He has it up on Kickstarter and it's already blown past its target. This product is called the Imperial Spherificator. Sir, it's Spherificator. No, guys, it's the Spherificator. <laughs> Sterificator. There you go. She got it. <laughs> yeah, I saw the demo video of this and I was just so amazed. You put a whole bunch of grind up ingredients inside and push a button and out come these perfect little spheres. Boy, spheres is a big word. Uh, <laughs> you know, circles, globes, Pearl, balls. Little pearls. <laughs> little pearls. There you go. Pearls sound so much more sophisticated. So like caviar, but... You know, no little baby fish are damaged Correct, in the process, exactly. and they can taste like jello, or they can taste like broccoli. That doesn't sound as much fun, does it? Well, no, but... <laughs> but you're willing to give it a try? Yeah. I don't know yet. So Claire is the first child to actually try using this machine, and I'm going to let her start driving from here uh, with a little bit of help and guidance. Yeah. You ready? Do you need help? Ready? Yes, okay, so we'll, we'll start with the brightest color, and we'll go to the darkest one as, as we progress. Okay. So here, this is actually uh, lemon-flavored uh, jello. So take regular jello, put some seaweed inside. You put about 1% uh, ratio, so for 100 grams of liquid, you'll put one gram of alternate. Blend it all together very well to get a very homogenous uh, mixture. By homogenous, having all the ingredients blended together to look like one identical mix. So go ahead. What do I do? <laughs> so open the machine. Okay. But first you say homogenous. Homogenous. Oh, you actually can. <laughs> <laughs> Can't open the machine. <laughs> just, here, just lift. Oh. Just have to lift it. I always forget that. <laughs> <laughs> all I could put half, put as much as you want. That looks like enough, right? Okay. You're the judge. Now just. Place that. You don't have to twist it. Place that push. on. Now, before Ta -da. starting, we always need two bowls, one with some calcium inside. And the calcium is actually what helps the alginate turn, turn into little beads. And then you want a clear bowl of water. You could actually use tap water to do it, and it's simply to rinse off the calcium. So you could put two, three scoops in there. And just mix them nicely like that. And even mm. if they don't dissolve all completely right now, within a couple of seconds, they'll dissolve. So you could just leave them in there. And if you're going to play with the machine for a couple of hours, you could constantly use the same bowl and every half hour to an hour, add about one spoon of calcium inside. Very easy, very simple. So what mm. did we just put in that bowl? Calcium. Good job. And there what does go. calcium do? Calcium does stone. Calcium does stone. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you strong bones. Yeah, calcium gives <laughs> strong bones. <laughs> and a beautiful smile. And ding. <laughs> okay. Now you're ready. You're ready. <laughs> So just turn on the machine, over the bowl, and there you go. <laughs> Family fun in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so this one was the jello? Yeah, that's, that what what the, that's the jello exactly. I and, think so. and what's fun with the jello is that you can make in advance, pop it in the fridge. So you could do it like the day before a birthday yeah. party and use it like on top of like a parfait or... Yeah. or even on cakes or in... Just serve it with ice cream, whatever you want to do with it. I mean, you have cute little pros out. She really likes the jello. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, but now we're going to yeah, put... Just put the machine on the side. Now we're going to put jello in seaweed? No, so the seaweed's, sea already, seaweed's already in there. Oh, it's already in there. Okay. So that's the powder that's right here. Okay. So it's seaweed in powder form. It's colorless and odorless, so it won't affect the flavor of the ingredients. So now you just take your strainer, lift it out of, uh, out of the calcium bath. Okay, I think that's good, right? Yeah. Give it a good little toss. Like Make that? yourself look like you're, you know, fancy yeah. with the eggs. Like, there you, you know, go. You're going to flip the pancake <laughs> over. <laughs> and then you could just drop them in this, this plate. And with a lot ahead. of water. Oh, you could take more pearls than that. Mm. <laughs> look at her, she's just digging in. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. You gotta wait for the lemon to hit you. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> so it's no big surprise to me that the Jello was a big hit with Claire. Yeah. But my question is whether or not this tool with the sort of fun shape it produced can actually convince Claire to eat some foods that she normally wouldn't. I brought two vegetables that generally kids really don't like to eat. And I've already, so I, I took them, I turned them into a uh, liquid shape. And obviously this is something that you would do not in front of them, so they don't know what it is. Uh, so and this you just took like a hand yeah, blender, yeah, right? Yeah, take a hand blender, turn it into a liquid. Again, add your, your uh, seaweed alginate inside. Uh, in that. In that, correct. You want to drink that? <laughs> actually, it's totally fine to drink it if you want to. Oh, it's safe, but I don't think it appeals. No, yeah, exactly. And actually, choose which one you want to start with. That one, because I think that one's I'll like less than a little bit Okay, so here, just like you did the, uh, for the uh, for the Jello, open the machine, put it in. Oh, I think I know what this is. <laughs> I'll teamwork this one. Ooh. And that's probably enough, right? Yeah. Well, it's right. less than <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll just put it here so we don't spill it. And then off you go. Can I turn it on? Yeah. Yep. Go for it. What the? Whoa. <laughs> Tell me when it's good. Oh, it's, it's up to you. It depends on how much you want to eat. The more you make, oh, the more oh, you have okay. to eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so same thing again. Rinse it off. In here, take off the excess calcium. Give it a good... We're making pancakes today. Okay, mm, you pancakes could put, You could put it in the plate. <laughs> oh, that would be so weird. <laughs> that would be so good, though. Oh, I do. I know what this is now. <laughs> We're going to put it in there. There right you now. go. Dig it and tell us what it is. Tomato. Close. How is that not? Ch ch oh, chili pepper, chili pepper, red yeah, chili pepper. Red pepper, that, there you go. But not chili pepper. Not, not chili. Spicy. No, it's not oh, spicy. Yeah, red, red pepper. Red pepper, red there red you go. So it's red pepper. Oh, that's so, actually better than the real thing. <laughs> it's actually a cool way to put uh, vegetables in an omelet or uh, you could also put it in like salad. And actually what's interesting is that you could cook with it up to 500 degrees. Uh, you could bake with it, you could fry with it. It won't break apart. Are you up for the next challenge? Yep. Yeah? The more you pour, the more you eat. That's the rule. Pour it all. <laughs> Actually, we're good, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're definitely good. And there's you know, commentary. There's no heat involved here. There's no the? place she can touch what? that's going to burn her. I mean, I don't really think of this as sort of a kid's thing. I think of this as a, a gourmet higher. mama thing, yeah. but the kids will have fun sort of joining in. And yeah, exactly. It's, it's, a, it's a fun way to get the kids in the kitchen. Okay, There's that's actually, enough. That's enough? <laughs> <laughs> We're you talking. can feel free to feed mommy this time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so go ahead, rinse it. Wait, can I try to guess what this is by smelling? Uh, you can, yeah. But you still have to eat it. Yeah, you still have to eat it. Whether, whether you, you guess it or not, right, you still have to eat it. Uh, okay, that's fun, though. <laughs> that would be fun. Grape ones. There you go. Thank you. Oh, I know it, but I don't know what it is. It's so familiar. So now you definitely have to eat like three or four spoonfuls. You're going to have a whole big spoonful to, to figure it out. <laughs> the smelling isn't Come enough. on, eat it, eat it. <laughs> It's a vegetable. <laughs> oh, what is it called? The thing that Leah likes to eat all the time in the in the Japanese food or the Chinese food? You, oh, you're right. It's, it's in her California rolls. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not avocado. No, I'm, not I'm, avocado. I'm, I'm, oh. I'm showing it to you. <laughs> That's broccoli. Yeah, there you go. Edamame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you thought it was soy So beans. she just ate broccoli. <laughs> You want to feed mommy some broccoli? It's actually good. You only eat like half a spoonful. You okay. can finish with a spoonful. <laughs> From all the vegetables, I think broccoli is the one vegetable that kids will just not eat. <laughs> it's good. Do you, feel, <laughs> do you feel tricked? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh, I like that. Me too. Actually, that's really fun. It's also... So what's good is that... Actually, all the nutrients are there because it's, it's pure broccoli. Yeah. But just changes the texture and I shouldn't say the flavor, but the way the flavor hits the mouth, it changes a little, little bit. So for kids, they don't have the broccoli flavor as intense in the mouth. You know what else is cool about it? Look at it. Yeah. You see it really close? What so, do you see? 
It reminds me of the Bean Boozle challenge. Oh, don't say <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was saying if you look at it really close, look at it, polka dots. Yeah. yeah, the leaves from the So exactly, broccoli. so it's the top of the broccoli. So it's, it's the whole broccoli's in there. Thank you so much for showing us your really cool invention. Thank you. And I think that this would be a great gift for people to buy now for the holidays. Yeah, for sure, it's available yeah. right on your Kickstarter page. That's correct. That they can sort of support the development of brilliance. <laughs> and they can know they're buying the favorite foodie in their life, a gift that there's no way they have. Oh, yeah, have. this is definitely a foodie <laughs> item, definitely. And there's no chance somebody would beat you to that gift. That's pretty cool. Did you learn something new? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Did you learn that broccoli is tasty in sphere shape? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she has no choice anymore. So thank you so much. My pleasure. And I'm going to bring a couple more friends to talk to us and check this out. So this is Nancy from The Mama Maven and Esty from Primetime Parenting. And they both have children that love eating broccoli as much as you do. <laughs> so this plate right here is broccoli after it goes through this magical machine. That looks amazing. But how does it taste? Can I taste it? This is your plate to partake in as you please. I like it. It still has a good broccoli taste. I love broccoli. But my kids would eat this. It's like fresher almost. I feel like like the sort of cool, like... You, you kind of take it like down and like the broccoli taste kind of pops out. Yeah. And What's the texture like? Is it crunchy? It's a little gelatinous, but that's a good thing. <laughs> right. That's what makes... That's the oh, fun part. That's the fun part of it. Like I can see... Uh, my brother-in-law used to swallow his lima beans whole when he was little. <laughs> that if kids didn't want to want to chew on this, they could kind of suck it down a little bit. Which, as long as they're getting their greens, I'm good with that. Yeah. yeah. Well, and he was saying you can cook them up to like 500 degrees or something. So, like, you could throw them in the middle of a lasagna oh, and I like really add like, like a fun factor, you know? Even Excuse in mashed potatoes, over. make a whole cool scene in mashed potatoes. Uh -huh. So, you two are now going to have a chance to meet and talk okay. with the inventor. And I'll make sure to share a link to your video below for anybody watching who wants more of the mom's perspective on this invention. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming Thanks and for having us. As Thank is you. tradition on Made by Mommy, we need a big bye bye. bye. <laughs> See you soon.